Hi, it's Rob. Welcome to the next video in the AWS Amplify playlist. In the intro video to this playlist, we installed the Amplify CLI. And in the last video, we scaffolded our React application using Create React App. In this video, we'll add Amplify to our project. To get started for this demo, I've given my IAM user power user privileges and added the credentials to my local machine using AWS Configure. Now, in the project's root folder, I'll run Amplify Configure to configure Amplify in this project. This will launch a browser window into AWS. When the window loads, go back to the console and hit Enter. Now, select the region that you'll be working in, and for me, it'll be USD East 1, and add a username to work with Amplify. This will launch you into another browser window with your Amplify username pre-populated and programmatic access selected. So from here, you could click Next, and you'll see your user is granted administrator access for Amplify. Click Next, Next, and create the user. Now, copy the access key and go back to your terminal. Hit Enter and paste the key. Now go back and grab the secret access key and paste that in the terminal. Add a profile name and your user has been successfully created. Now, in the terminal, in the project's root folder, run amplify init to initialize the project with amplify. Enter a name for the project. Here, I'll take the default. For project information, it's taking the default name. It's configuring a dev environment. It's determined that I'm using Visual Studio Code. The app type is JavaScript, and it's using React. So I'll go ahead and enter yes here. For authentication method, I'll select AWS profile and then select the profile I just created. Now, if we jump back into the AWS console and go to Amplify, we'll see our Amplify demo project. And if we go back to VS Code, we'll see we now have an Amplify folder with a config. And in the source folder, we have an AWS exports file, which will be managed by Amplify. Now, back in the terminal, execute Amplify add auth to add authentication to our project. Here, I'll select the default security configuration. I'll select that I want the users to be able to sign in using their email, and then no for configuring advanced settings. And if I run Amplify Status now, we'll see in our current dev environment that auth has been added to the project. From here, I'll do an Amplify Push, Confirm, And now if we jump back into the AWS console, we'll see an updated deployment status. And if we jump over to Cognito, we now have a new user pool. And back in VS Code, we'll see that our AWS exports file has been updated by Amplify to include auth. Now, to incorporate Amplify's UI components into the project, we'll install Amplify UI into the project's folder. So I'll copy the command 
then jump back in the terminal and execute it. Then we'll jump back into VS Code and make some changes to our app. In the app.js file, I'll start by importing Amplify, Authenticator, and then the AWS exports file. I'll include the Amplify UI styles for React, and then add a line to configure Amplify. Jumping back over to the docs for Amplify UI Authenticator, if we scroll down, we'll see that in order to incorporate the Authenticator, we need to wrap our default code inside of the Authenticator component. So jumping back into VS Code, I'll go ahead and wrap the existing code in the Authenticator component. Additionally, I'll add that I want to use email for the login mechanisms and close the code. Now, if I jump back into a terminal and run npm start to launch the application, we see that we now have the default authentication built into our app and that we can't see the app until we successfully log in. So from here, I'll go ahead and create an account. And then I'll check my email for the authentication code. I'll go ahead and paste the code in and then confirm. And now I'm successfully authenticated into the application and I can see our homepage. And I could access the login and register routes. Now, of course, we have login and register pages built into our application. So we don't really need to use the default authentication UI from Amplify. So what we'll do in the next video is remove that default authentication UI and build the authentication mechanism into our custom components. I hope to see you there.